<laughs> he's, he's he's targets on the one of the <laughs> sub weapons that we actually do. Yeah. If you go into the uh, the main FCS Kali International website, which is known as a, the main FCS Kali yes. website, and if you go to some of the curriculum I, I, or the general information, you'll see that latigo or bullwhip is actually one of the sub weapons that we use. You, a as whip, well, a bullwhip, as well as the uh, sarong or or uh, which is a piece of cloth. Right, right. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Now, I have a question. Now, what I've seen before uh, on movies before where, it, I, I think it's Filipino martial arts. I've just seen it. I forget what movie it was. But there was a guy uh, holding um, a knife in his hand, and and then the, his kind of arms were like just all over the place. You know, I, he was just striking, 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 and blocking. But obviously that's an FMA-based, I just can't figure out what movie it was, but that was probably an FMA-based um, movement, right? I... I don't know. Say. I, I, you know, it's hard to say, Possibly, but you know, yeah. most likely, most, yeah. most likely, most likely. It, it's a, it's FMA it's a influenced. Movie, yeah. You know, uh, again, a lot of these, um, well, a lot of the choreographers that that are well known is mm -hmm. is FMA based, and if not, then they they've seen cool stuff that FMA does, uh, and uh, and then end up just using it in their choreography. But remember, it, it, these guys are doing like films, so it's not like they have to be like. Um, uh, you know, they don't have, they don't need to have credentials on the system. They right, can just, right. they just see the movement, they like it, and then they'll incorporate it into a film. Right. So who's to say that they had, they didn't see it in some other, uh, you know, practitioner? And then like, oh, that's a cool move. I'm going to use that in my movie. Now, uh, in FCS in general, um, in America, how many different groups or schools are there in, in America? Do we know, or, or approximate, <clears throat> or a, a lot? You said, yeah. you said Kentucky, right? Yeah. Was there one in Kentucky? Or yeah. Was yes. yeah, there is one in Kentucky. Uh, there's Guru Ernie Lake. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's Kentucky, there's Georgia, there's uh, up and down. And that's uh, FCS. Uh, that's FCS. FCS. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Um, um, Alabama, again, Flo and all over Florida. And even in California, we're not the only ones. We have we have a, a, the guys, uh, Steve Baca, that, that has a training group in North Hollywood. And we have um, Alvin Albino up in the uh, San Francisco <coughs> area. Um, Patrick. Yeah, and, and, and Patrick Coast. Maldonado, that's in the Central Coast, Central that's in Coast. San, Santa Maria area, or like near Pismo. Mm -hmm. um, we're mainly on the in the both coasts. You know, we have some people that right. train up in um, New York. New I'm opening up FCS Texas the next week. No, <laughs> I would want, I would love to have one. And yeah. we we did have a guy that trained in Texas, but he wasn't able to. He didn't create a group though. He just it's an individual that trains there. Now, again, I want to give contact information. Now, if someone wants to reach, uh, if someone wants to train Filipino Combat System SoCal and you're in the La Jolla area or surrounding area, how could they reach you, Felix? Uh, they can reach me on uh, various ways. Uh, on Facebook, um, we have a group, um, La Jolla FCS, on my cell phone, 619-228-3676. Um, pretty much any major social network, we're on it. So Facebook, Google+, Twitter, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Instagram, we're all over the place. So just Google F uh, La Jolla FCS and you'll find us. La Jolla FCS and even put in Felix De La Cruz if you want and he'll, his contact information will show right up there. And if someone wants to reach Bernie Herrera, uh, you live in Murrieta, right? I live in Murrieta, but mm -hmm. I train in Chula Vista. Do you train in Murrieta also or just is Chris No, Chula Vista? I'm usually down here because we only train on Saturdays on the weekends. So what time Saturday and then where? Uh, at Heritage Park, that's off East Palomar, uh -huh. and we're there on Saturday from 8 till about 11. Mm -hmm. So anyone's all who's ever there? You're there every us. Saturday, usually every Saturday. Every Saturday, unless okay. we post it. We'll post it on our uh, web page, Facebook also, but it'll go uh, fcscaliwestcoast.com. Felix is our communication guy, so mm -hmm. he does most of our announcements. But I also text people, let them know. Is Irwin training there too, and, and Ed, or is that or Ed's, Ed's working that day, right? Yeah, Ed's Ed, working Ed that day. He wants to go back to Sundays, but oh. he has a training group that he actually trains at his house. He's, I mean, I'm sure he wouldn't mind getting more people, but mm -hmm. I don't want to flood <laughs> his house either. So. <laughs> And then Irwin, is Irwin still training? Irwin, Irwin Garcia? Irwin hasn't training? been training. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully, he'll want to come back and train. We don't push people into training. They're all grown men. They <laughs> want to train. They train. If they yeah. don't, they don't. I'm I'm probably the least when it comes to that because I'm there. And if you want to train, train. If you don't, go with that too. So good. I thought I'd just say hi to Erwin Garcia as well as Ed Johnson, the also FCS practitioners in uh, Southern San Diego, Chula Vista. Chula Vista. So when we come back, um, we're going to talk about more FCS, and we'll, I'm sitting here with with um, FCS practitioners. 
and they're experts in the art, and they gave you their contact information. But we'll, but I remember um, Bernie wanted to talk about Filipino combat systems or FMA in general. That's that's hit the movies. So I remember you were talking about the Bourne movies, right? Correct. And so that's where it is pretty much showcased a lot better in, the, in those movies. Very much so. I mean, you could see the movement, and you could actually say. That's a lot of FMA right there. So when we come back in a couple minutes, we'll talk about Matt Damon and how he's an expert, or seems to be an expert in Filipino martial arts, or Looks maybe good. FCS. But, it, but, but the movements, um, they name the movements, and those movements are Filipino martial arts movements, definitely. So we'll be right back in a couple minutes. This is Vincent Villafranc, your host of Smart Move on ESPN AM 1700. We'll be back in a couple minutes. The cool thing are some of the shows that actually do admit what it is. Yeah. Uh, Matt Damon uh, goes on plenty shows that say what it is. Uh, Does he the, movie, the movie Frankenstein that came, uh, yeah. came out a couple years ago. Yeah. Yeah, uh, movie. The, 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 Frankenstein? Yeah, it was a modern, modernized movie. Oh, Frankenstein? Really? Yeah, the who was monster? the actor that played it? I forget the actor's name. He's pretty good, though. Yeah, he but he, he even admitted that... You know, again, well, that was Ron Blicky. Ron Blicky. Yeah, he, yeah. yeah. So, which is a uh, dinosaur. That means they've claimed... Uh, that you know, it was FMA uh, Severin Six. Remember that older movie with uh, Lucy Liu? Oh, Lucy Liu, Lu yeah, Lucy yeah, Liu yeah, trains yeah, yeah. in FMA when she can, oh, and she'll even admit what that is. All oh, this Filipino martial arts is like very, you know, it's effective, very effective, very dangerous. You don't play around with <clears throat> those knives. Yeah. So <laughs> Lucy Liu is another. Uh, there's another uh, uh, actress that actually <clears throat> tells people yeah. what this is. So we can, you know, give props is, to is them. Is Jeffy Mata the one that does Damon? I think, I think yeah. so. Yeah. 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 Well, Jeff Mott and Damon are on uh, probably like 90% of the movies out there. Yeah. Yeah. One minute! Oh, is <laughs> said one minute, he's hot? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it, you know, as it's our last portion, I just want to make sure we get the opportunity to mention all our, the other guys that train to the, uh, you know, Chaz and his group, Narbabao. Do you have contact information? Are they, where, where, where? It's all on their web. They, you could pull them up. Narbabao, Babao Arniz, uh, Pulahan, Dorobio. Chaz Nar is another show. Good. <laughs> I'm yeah. getting Nar on soon, yeah. I wanted to keep it separate because his is more... Uh, yeah, I understand. It's different. It's it's different. But we just want to make sure we throw out their names. Oh, yeah. I, I was already messaging Nar. He's going he's to be a good one, too. So, back to Still on camera. Oh man, all the things I said about Felix. <laughs> <laughs> Egyptian lover, I like it. And we're back. Hello, this is Vincent Villafranca, your host of Smart Move on ESPN AM 1500. I'm sitting here with with practitioners, trainers of FCS, uh, Filipino martial arts. Sitting here with Rich Verdejo, Felix De La Cruz, and Bernie Herrera. They are at different levels. Um, I, I imagine the highest level here would be uh, Manong Rich Verdeo, right? Guru, guru. Oh, Guru Rich Verdeo. Yeah. Let me slap myself on the head for that. <laughs> no! But, but, but in, your, in your defense, I actually prefer Manong over the guru. guru title, to be honest. Yeah. You know, and uh, the reason is, if you, again, if you go back to the Filipino culture, um, if, I was, if somebody was to call, hey, oh, oh, there's Guru Rich, and, you know, you have another person that may not be in the martial arts, they're like, the heck, who's that? Yeah, he wanted to be saying, "Oh, there's there's Manong Rich, another Filipino that may not be in, in right. Filipino martial will understand the respect level." Right, because they're just they're basically descriptive descriptive titles. Yeah, like descriptive titles. Yeah. So, um, so Bernie, you wanted to give a shout out to some of the other FCS groups. What were well, they? not just FCS, chat? just FMA as F as a whole. FMA in general. I mean, there's there's guys like Nar Babao for Babao Arnis. Yes. Uh, Chaz Shianko from Pulahan Drobio. Mm -hmm. Uh, NAR actually trains in San Diego. I'm not sure about their address, but uh, he trains in his garage in and his also garage. His, his studio. I went to his class. Uh, is it called Black Belt class. Studios or something? Yes, that's the right. one, and I think it's currently based on Fridays, I believe, and then right. in his garage on Wednesdays. Yeah, and know, then Chaz there. has out of Chula Vista CrossFit, because I used to call it East Lake CrossFit, but I think it's Chula Vista CrossFit. What does he train? Chaz train? What does he train there? It's uh, Pulahan Drobio, uh, huh? our niece. Oh, Escrima. Escrima. And so, is that part of the Babao style of screamo? No, or is it it's different separate. Different it's different just a whole different <laughs> system. Okay. But those guys are direct descendants of, of from, like Nar from his dad Nari, right. and then right, right. with Chaz, it's from his grandfather. So okay. I mean, you're so talking about guys with great styles, stories. Though. Yeah. Oh, interesting, interesting. Yeah, great stories and great technique. Mm -hmm. Good practitioners. There's more in San Diego. I mean, There's one the thing Gabo we family. yeah. 
we have good relationships with all of them, and we uh, try to promote each other. Right. Um, if we can't, if they can't train with us, we actually tell them go check out these guys. Right. No, it's, it's that's excellent. So, but yeah, you know, I was talking to a, a friend of mine on Facebook. Um, his name is um, Giovanni Sagone. Do you know him? We were having a we were just messaging back. Is he famous? He's a famous martial artist. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I was talking to Giovanni. I hope you're listening, Giovanni, and I'm giving the shout out. But he was telling me that um, start to train now in these martial arts, especially because many of the uh, the, the the masters, the practitioners, are getting much older now. Yeah. Yes. And is that what's going on with FMA in general? There, everybody's yes. aging, and you have to pass it down before. Well, not just in FMA. I think it's in martial arts general, you right. know. Uh, um, again, we, we all also have different backgrounds in martial arts. Like uh, mine is the Ed Parker Kemp, uh, Ed Parker Kempo system, mm. and you know, if you know, they, Ed Parker passed away back in '91. Mm. Um, there, and then um, uh, all of a lot of his associates are now all slowly, you know, they're getting old. They're passing away. Right, themselves. they're like almost as old as me. <laughs> <laughs> well, and that's the concern is that with all of these martial arts masters or these guys that have been around and have yes. all this information their legacies are based on people still training and so as as they disappear there's no who's, more it's who's going to replace that who's going right. to replace that with realistic combat situations and really what we benefit most from is the storytelling yeah that's all the important. stories and the experience no it definitely i remember um, i was talking to, to a, a good friend of mine that there's other like in terms of Filipino martial arts in general, um, there's a s different styles, right? He, he said there was one called Dosi. Dosi Yeah, it's Pottos. a huge. Uh, that's more like uh, actually, it's more of an organization than it is. It, it Again, it's a style, but it's a big. It's, it's an organization of twelve other masters at the time that started. I mm -hmm. believe it might even been more. Um, uh, that that they actually formed that organization, but e even the split them up themselves, they had their own specific system as well. Sure. You know, when they say, how many styles are, are there in FMA, I don't know, how many, first of all, how many islands in the Philippines and yes. how many towns in that island? Yes. Each town will have their own. Oh, cult culturally, when I was talking to um, uh, Rich about this, um, you said this was, F Philippine martial arts, FCS is, was a tribal Right. Mar art originally like back in the older days so where every Filipino martial arts practitioner had their kind of their own style right 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 it's <clears> interesting <throat> how, the, how that is well you know not only that's like okay the difference between also like your conventional martial arts versus tribal arts right uh, if you go to a, a school you know like say a regular like a karate school or whatever mm -hmm. you're, you're basically learning how to defend yourself and most of the time yourself only you don't really train I well, have yet to see it to where, okay, where you're trained to cover someone six, or you know mm -hmm. what I mean, uh, where it's a lot more, um, but if anything, when, they, when, we, when it's called mass attack, you're usually defending yourself against multiple people. Right. Well, in, in FCS, when we say mass attack, or, or, when we, or we're actually learning how to, our group, how our group can defend itself. Right. So when we say tribal art, you're there to actually not just protect yourself, but you're, you're here to protect your group. You protect your group. Your group and your tribe. If they, there's 15 guys there, you're in the same tribe, or five guys, or three guys. If there's three guys, you're standing in a certain way, right? Correct. Well, even if there's even if it's just just one threat, mm -hmm. if there's one threat and there's three of us, then all three of us need to learn how to work together for that one threat. Oh. Because if anything, uh, if we don't learn how to work together, that one threat, uh, because if we can't handle each other, mm -hmm. may just get in each other's way, and next thing you know, right. that threat gets one of us. So working like three people against two people or, or five people working in unison together, um, complementing each other's skills. Compliment is perfect. Versus getting That's in the perfect. way. perfect, yes. Right. Like if we if we were in a fight, uh, all four of us against four other guys, we complement each other versus four individual fighters. Right. That right. makes sense, because it makes, it makes you greater than the sum of its parts. Correct. Correct. You, you want to be able to work as a team, right. and, not, and not be divided. Right. Because there's strength in uh, unity. That's yeah. hence the name, the, the, tribal, the tribal art. Correct. So that's interesting how that works. And um, now, I guess, where do you think um, FCS, Cali, the, all these organizations, where do you think it's, what's their next move? Where, where are they moving to? Like, what, what do you think their goal is? I mean, we're just guessing here, but what do you think the goal is? Just to grow more or, or what? Adapt? Well, and I think you have better? to look at the generations. I mean, mm -hmm. you have a lot of young guys that are really promoting FMA right now. Yes. Unfortunately, we don't get enough people that stay with the system. They mm -hmm. learn a little, because it's a quick learning system, and it's it's practical. You get so somewhat proficient at a certain way, especially if you carry a knife, and you right. learn certain things. And you're proficient and so, at it, and then you take it, and you're just gone. Yeah, yeah but you don't you don't push the legacy. 
and and part right. of that is is I don't know if it's just people getting bored with the system, but all systems have that. You know, yeah. you, you train for so long, and after a while, you say, oh, "I'm good enough. I'm going to quit." Well, they want to be their them, they want to be their own. Their yeah, themselves. their own. And so they want to pull a little bit from here and, and incorporate into that their own style. And, and there's nothing pull, wrong pull, with yes, that. Right. But what what from our perspective with Filipino martial arts, one thing about with Filipinos is this is something we call our own. Exactly. And if you look at what's happening in the Philippines, the Philippines actually has made a law that uh, Eskrima, or I think it's Kali, Kali or Eskrima, is the national art. They did that in 2009 where the president wrote that in the law saying the president at the time, uh, Gloria Royal, actually said that we our niece own, is, own this. yeah, mm -hmm. our, this, is, this, this is, is our art. This is our sense of pride. This and is what, exactly. This is what, this is and what unfor learn. unfortunately, we don't see enough young people coming into this. And, mm -hmm. you know, we're always an afterthought, you know, hey, I'm going to take Taekwondo, but they have our niece class. Instead right. of thinking, hey, I'm going to take our niece, but I'm also going to learn Taekwondo. Right. See the difference? I, I, I exactly see what, this, what you're saying, yeah. So um, in terms of practitioners, we think hopefully um, it's getting bigger, it's getting stronger, the styles are adapting, but we also want to make sure that the core style is there with all the FCS, because then they build upon that with their other skills. So, But um, yeah, so I mean, in terms of growth, I mean, Remember you were saying there's, they get together and they, they, they train each other like all the different groups. Is there a group in Europe you're saying, in Russia oh, you're yeah. talking about? Uh, all over Europe. I, I, it's actually, I, I feel like FCS in Europe is a lot bigger, bigger than is. anywhere else in mm -hmm. the world. I mean, they'll easily have a gathering with 100 people. Out here, we're lucky if we can get 20, 20 to 40 people. <laughs> it's, it's tough. No, I, so, yeah, I mean, there you have it. We've been talking about Filipino martial arts and FCS uh, Cali West in general. If you want to reach um, Rich Verdejo in L.A., what is your phone number, Rich, to, uh, to train uh, Filipino combat systems? It's 626-356-3579. If you want to reach um, Felix Dela Cruz in the La Jolla area or surrounding community, if you want to train Filipino combat systems with Felix, how can they reach you, Felix? Uh, it would be 619-228-3676 or Google La Jolla FCS. And if you want to reach um, Bernie Herrera um, in the Chula Vista area to train Filipino combat systems, how can they reach you, Bernie? 619-261-1515. And, and we also, the easiest way, Facebook, FCS, Cali West Coast. Yeah. And how, how, just one quick question, how long have you been training in this, Bernie, in, in, in FCS? In FCS, I've only probably, it's seven years. That's still a long, long time. Well, my background is the other side of the American Kempo, we're actually Tracy Kempo's, but I actually trained with Pete Salas, where I got my black belt from him, mm -hmm. uh, Chinese Kempo, uh, under the Chinese Kempo Federation. Sure. But also, Were you at UKF? No, I never went to UKF. I started out with American Kempo with Todd McElhaney okay. and Dick Willett, and then I went over to Pete's. When Pete broke, uh, well, he didn't break away from UKF. He just started his own right. brand. I remember I went to UKF. I think I was in, oh god, I think it was like in fourth grade. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, and then Pete, I guess, trained me for a short time. I was a really yeah. little kid back then, but I didn't. Of course, I didn't stick with. It. I, was, I was too young. But um. But yeah, again, this is Vincent Villafranca, your host of Smart Move, uh, your San Diego Realty. You can always reach me direct at 619-972-8798. Uh, but there you have it, Filipino martial arts. It's in all the, the oh, sh uh, quickly, um, the Bourne movies. Filipino martial arts has been showcased in all the Bourne movies. Everything you see, almost everything you see Matt Damon do is Filipino martial arts, right? Predominantly, yes. I can't say it's all because I know right. there's different. The good moves, systems, <laughs> yeah. all the, the, the effective moves are Filipino martial arts. Yeah. And if I'm, we talked about it. Well, we weren't sure if it was Jeffy Mata or not, but Jeffy Mata is one of the uh, cor uh, choreographers that stunt coordinators that yeah. actually works with him. So, oh, it, okay. So the Bourne movies, they're they're all they showcase Filipino martial arts. And this is Vincent Villafranca, your host of Smart Move, ESPN AM seventeen hundred. I'm signing off. And you have a great afternoon, and thank you very much for listening. You can, again, you can reach me direct at 619-972-8798 as your San Diego real estate agent. Thank you so much, and thanks for listening. Bye-bye. That was quick. Oh! That was quick.